Let's log into the starter. <laughs> okay, so good morning and good evening, everybody, and welcome back in today's class. And today we are going to be start a new topic, which is little different, but yes, it is be again for the developers, for the architects, but not for us completely. But we as a consultant lead this particular topic in a many context. OK. If I ask you. What is the meaning of the Xerox? Someone say Atul Xerox means if you put want to take a copy of some other paper, some other document, some other record, you Xerox it. And when I'm doing the Xerox copy, it will override everything in the paper which you're putting in the printing or the Xerox machine. Now, why we need this thing? So, in our service now, okay, let me little bit do this thing. In our service now, when we want to upgrade our systems. See, there's a, there's a two things. Number one is update. And the other thing is called upgrade. Means when I am moving from one family to another family, it is called the upgrade. But when I'm just updating my own family, it's called the update. OK, so simple and lemon example, which I put in other trainings as well. Upgrade means when a girl getting married. And she's entering into the. Other family. So she changed almost everything. She leave her parents home and she's going to be the. Her husband home. She changed her. Last name as well, at least in India, it's 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 there. I'm not sure about the other countries, but in India, it's there. She need to be changed her last name. From a girl, she become a daughter in law. Mainly. And then people start considering that she's mature human being now who can take the decisions. This is called the upgrade. But now before I upgrade. I do the. There's another word I'm, I'm putting here that is called the cloning. In simple and layman example. Lemon word if I say cloning means copy. And paste. In. In other word, control C and control V. Complete copy. You are not putting any exception here. Complete copy. Now the question come why we need cloning. So we know that we have environments dev, test, and prod. Prod is the one which has all the available configuration, which is accessible to the end users. Now, sometimes what happened? I I I give an example. Let's say I book a ticket for a concert, some music concert or some concert is there. OK. When I booked the ticket, it was told to me. Please reach to the venue at least 15 minutes before. You 15 minutes before the event scheduled time. 
so that we can make a complete format. We're going to do the complete formalities. Like we can check your tickets, we can give you the seats, we can give you the edible or food items. And if you're a VIP guest, we can give you the proper I cards or cards or scanning cards kind of things. Okay, people are smart. People are punctual. They're reaching on time. And they're doing the everything as part of the process. I reach five minutes late than the scheduled time. And my seat is almost in the front row and almost in the middle. Now, if I go to the, or if I, when I reach to the counter, that admission counter or registration counter, if they do all the formalities for me, number one, they are creating a problem for me because it's I'm already late and I'm going to miss the concert, number one point. Okay, so what they do? They just bypass me everything. Sir, I scan your ticket, go and I'll do everything in the return with you. Miss your access card upgrade and all the things will do it. On the seat only we will do it. So we are bypassing the steps. Okay, Rajay says, Atul, that's fine. But why it's for us? That's, that is the main, main part, why it's for us. Because if you are working in a production support, you know there are lot of time when the fixes has been deployed directly on the production system. Either you agree, I don't agree. But this is the truth. There are many times you, you take any any big company, any big client. Everyone has this problem. I work with big insurance company. I work big telecom companies. I work with a small companies. I work with a small sorry company. I'm saying projects as well. Clients. Everybody has this problem. And it's not a problem. It's not a problem. No. It's a need of an hour. But yes, it is a wrong practice. Not a best practice. Right? Let's take example. Number and family is planning to go for a trip. It's a four week trip. International trip they are planning. So on the day of the trip, She's so busy since morning to getting up with the to pay, making the food for the travel, little bit of the travel, getting ready with the kid to help to the husband to pick up the pack up the things, office closing and other things. When they are leaving, there's a lot of things they leave as it is in the room. Okay, leave it, no problem. We will we'll take it later on. Or I'll ask someone can come and clean the house and settle down the things as well. Because you are in hurry now. You cannot, you don't have that much time to come to roll out your rolling your bed, beddings, keeping the cupboards, keeping the kids toy in a in a almira. No, you don't have a time. Because you need to believe and you have to be do everything which is on the priority. The same thing happened in our production instance as well. But the question comes, is it intentionally or unintentionally? It's a both. There are the cases when fixes has been deployed directly on the production system. Bypassing these two instances. Now, let's say in this instance in the dev, I have a X code. In the test, I have a X plus one code. And here I have a X plus N code. All these three are different now in respect of the logic code. When we do, when we want to renovate our house, 
we do everything. We try to do everything. Like some people are very much. Means they are very, very expert in these areas. That I want to renovate my house. So I said, what do you want to? What do you mean by renovate? Hey, there is some wiring is going on the on the wall. It will go underground. There is some water work need to be do. Some pipes has been broken. It has been fixed. There is something has been done in the room, kids room. And at last. They do the painting. In the house. Let me tell you example of. Clone here. Now let's say. This is my dev instance. OK. And this is my. Production instance. OK, cloning always done. Downward means from production we clone dev. From production we clone test. Transfer map go dev to test to production. Cloning is the only thing which go from production to dev and test. Now let's say this is a good wall or this is a wall in Rajesh room where a wife makes some painting, means hand painting on the wall and complete decorated. He called the painter. Boss, you have to paint every house, everything in this house. OK, what that painter did. And. Now tell me where is that wall which was has a painting. So that's done. So now can you tell me? Now can you tell me where is that painting? It's gone. Why? Because you only told to the painter, boss, we have to come paint everything. He did not know that this the painting which is on in the bedroom has been made by hand written or some other painter. He's not worried because you did not tell him. And after this paint, your wife is crying. He remove everything which I created. Rajesh, you should tell to the painter that don't paint this wall. Now there's a no way. There's no way that you can remove that paint and bring that previous wall. These are the points are important. So when I am cloning my dev instance from my production instance. It clone everything. What is the meaning of everything? Including your data as well. Foundation data, your transactional data, everything will get cloned. Everything, everything. Now Rajesh is worried. Was you done in the wife room? That's still I can manage. Have you done anything in the kids room? No, no, sir. Kids room will start tomorrow. Don't touch these paintings now. It means Rajesh is preserving those places now. Paint in the house, no problem, but don't paint on the wall which has a painting like this. Because if I clone my dev from my production, now it is equivalent to production. It means if there is any integration, they're pointing to this as well. Because you completely copy paste it, that's all. You completely copy paste it. But the question come why we need a cloning. 
and these are the question has been asked to the double, not to the developer to the ba cloning is required to make sure that all the environments should be in sync specifically in terms of configurations in terms of foundation data in terms of the business logic clear everybody till this point rajesh namrata pooja and yeah. trevor good so now if this is the case then how this cloning work in service now so in service now it is well said and it is a best practice when you want to upgrade your instance before you upgrade you should do the cloning you should do the cloning and before you do the cloning you have to be do some needful because we are doing the P, we, are, we are having a pdi we don't have official instances so cloning will not work in our system but i will show you that what you have to be do so let's go here search for the so it says you can see the active clone means Rajesh is in the house and he is seeing, he is checking that how this printer doing the printing work. This is the active clone. So as of now, there is no active clone because we did not put a request. We did not raise a request that I want to be cloned. Then we have a clone history. Earlier anything has been done because it's my PDA, so you, it, it's our PDA, so you will not find anything. then this is important exclude tables preserve data the you already have this experience rajesh already has this experience after again 5 or 7 years the same situation came want to renovate the house yes because now kids are little elder so it's they are getting younger now they have their demand and now he is again thinking to go for the renovation but this time when he invited the painter he told don't touch these wall which has the painting and the painter says sorry boss you have to be put some tick mark you have to put some some kind of a spot because i will not going to work my worker will come and they will work so i'm putting the excluding tables when you copy when you clone from production to test these table should not get copied from production so by default service now give 156 tables and what these tables basically these table are the some password tables some user tables even user table also we did not did not uh, clone let me check sys user okay sys user they are doing but session they are not doing multi multi factor authentication they are not doing because these are the production tables which has a production configuration so if you want you can put the table name here with the help of the new and you can add it now rajesh is more curious so which table we should put it is totally up to you maybe some custom tables you created for saving the user information which you don't want to be override something which is a configuration of printers end points integration kind of things which you don't want to be override so you can exclude that 
Once you put the table name here, you're excluding that table from the getting clone. Then preserve data. Another important point. Few another files, few another tables which you don't want to be overwrite. The data and you're preserving it. Like OAuth entity. I don't want to be overwrite this thing. Generally, when you when you work on this cloning and upgrade projects, you'll get these practical scenarios. And then you can do these table selection has been done by the developers, not by the me as, as a consultant. OK, this thing, but OK, this has been done. Now another point. There's a let's say Rajesh has a 4 BHK. Our wife is very good painter. Now in one of the room, she started the painting. Only five, seven percent has been completed or 10 percent has been completed, but it's a very big project for her. It's a very good painting she's she's putting now. Now Rajesh want to renovate the house. What to do with this wall? Same thing, let me convert this example to our IT industry. Namrata, Rajesh and Trevor is a developer. I said, guys, after two days we are going to be clone it. It means the work they are doing will get overwritten. See, Rajesh, Rajesh is so smart. He's thinking, Atul, just a few minutes back, you are saying that we can preserve it. Now, cannot we preserve this? No. Because these are the update set then you have to be take the backup update set go to your local update set and mark that as a complete and then you will get option for the export see here generally you you saw this email if if you already have experience of the upgrades you saw the email that the deployment team is sending an email to developers. Please check the backup of your all running or in progress update set because we're going to be cloned it. So just click on the export and everything will be in the this thing, XML format. This is very important point. If you forget to tell to your Painter, don't touch this wall. He will touch and he will destroy. So it's your responsibility to tell what to copy, what not to be copy. This is what the concept of the cloning exists here. Any doubt, any question? Good. Now I come to the second step. It's called the upgrade. Because now Rajesh is having a one BHK house. He want to renovate and make it as a three BHK house. Maybe he's putting some duplex house now. Two rooms on the first floor, ground floor, two rooms on the first floor. He want to he want to renovate, it's up to him. Then, then before doing this part, we will do the cloning. And upgrades never go downside. They go upside. You upgrade the dev. Then you upgrade the test. 
then you upgrade the production. Because you are not sure that the upgrade will come work with your dev instance properly or not. So you want to test it. You upgrade and you test it. OK, things are fine. I can move to the test. Now, number is a question. Atul, you are making us a fool from the last 30 days. You have experience. You are telling and we're agreeing. Yes, 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 yes. Upgrade is not that much easy. So, so let's say example. In a family for a girl, getting married is not that much easy. I'm I'm really not sure about the other countries, but in India, and specifically because I'm from the North India, and I'm I'm belong to a community which if there's a there's a marriage. They celebrate it like a festival. Three, four days function they have. We invite a lot of people. Daily DJ, drinks, cocktail, mocktail, parties. And nowadays, atmosphere has so much change. People are putting the destination plan, weddings. Everybody's booking bus and they're going in some one place. They book some resorts and they spend four or five days for the marriage there. Right? This is because it's it's upgraded. And to do this part, intention is not to tell about the Indian marriage. The intention is that how big this festival we celebrate. This marriage is a festival for us. How big we celebrate. To do this thing, definitely the parents or the brother or the sister do a lot of work. They started the preparation in the from the last two, not two, three, four, six months beforehand. That after six months we have a marriage in our house. They start planning it. There's a lot of things they have to be do. A lot, a lot. I have a practical experience on this part. I am married. I I supported my parents for my sister marriage as well. So I know that how big this these things. And even after marriage. It's you as a parent need to be close everything. Pay all the billings. See of every relatives and come back to your home and take a rest. Now the, the intention why this example has been come to the picture because number is is curious now, Atul, come on. If you are saying if marriage is this much, then definitely upgrades also this much. How I will know that what step need to be do. So for this service now support us. You can go here in the Google and you can put. It. Check. List. Service now. And you will get a PDF. Seven step PDF. Seven or ten step PDF. Download it here. Your connection is not private. What happened? Um, but I know it's it's a fine one. Not sure I am not able to download this. So it is like this. Maybe if, if you click on this link, let me share this with you. If you click on this, you will download, you will get everything in a PDF format. It starts from here. It's a PDF one. It says what is the customer name, what is the production instance, what is the End of the instance. And from here, your work start. Phase one. Phase two. See the steps. When this still phase two, phase three. Phase four. Five. Six. And seven. 
total six phases. It's, it's six or seven pages PDF. And see how smart they are doing. They're mentioning that who is responsible for which particular part. And did I done this thing? It's a tick box. Yes, no, or not applicable for you. What the six phases says. Again, we'll take example of the marriage. Before the period, before parents fix the marriage of their daughter or son, they start with the grooms or the brides. Right? They, they're getting the good match. But before that, they check. Is their daughter or son is eligible for marriage or not? 22, 23, 24, 29, 30 is a normal age. 28, 20, after 25, 26 is an age become, we say it's an age to get married for the male. And for the female, generally it starts between 22, 23 till 25, 26. They can say it is a good time to be get married. So they start getting that part. So what this PDF says, the first part, release the release, read the release notes. What service now giving you new in the next release? Please read that. So parents never do, and parents did not fix the marriage. Just they're seeing a good boy on the road and say, hey, okay, let fix the marriage with this guy. No, they do all the review. They check the families, they check the parents, they check the qualification, and then they proceed further. And before upgrading, before go to this part, you have to complete the things and see. Confirm which service now instances you want to be upgrade. You want to upgrade dev, test production, or only one instance, or you have four instances or five instances. Confirm that are you hosting it on a cloud on premises or off premises? And then you see that when if I upgrade this, what are the new things is coming to me? This is what they have to be checked. Once the phase two has been completed, then the phase three. So it's it's a more one. Then you have to be make sure you have to make a list that I don't want these feature to be enabled when I upgrade. Like let's say example. I am upgrading. My WhatsApp app, OK? It even though it's not a great update only, but still I'm saying it's upgrade. And when I'm upgrading, I untick or untrue the option of a paying via WhatsApp because I know that I don't want this option. It's not good for me. I'm happy to go with the card or the cash, but I don't want any online payment in my phone. So we can make a list that which are the modules I need and I have to be enabled or disabled. Then check the browser support and all the things and then make a project plan and see the first step is cloning. It's a it's a complete step. Cloning is a complete step. Cloning means when the cloning work will start, which are the dates. It is, it is not like that today you are thinking to, in the evening morning you're thinking in the evening you go for the updates. No. You have to make a good plan for this because customers are not interested to upgrade their instances. They think it is a, a very heavy investment in the terms of the time, in the terms of the efforts. So they are not not recommend the frequent cloning and you know service now service now is sending or releasing the up latest release after six months then so generally i i see 
there are very less customers and very again it's my experience there are very less customers there are very less companies who upgrade their instances immediately when service now release it otherwise they work on and minus 1 so now let's see if i upgraded my instance to tokyo or just a week back and in the march i am getting a new release or the new upgrade i will say no i will not go because my development will stop in these time periods my developer will support on this up upgrade or cloning activities then i am losing the time no 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 we will miss utha and we'll go for the next version only so first clone upgrade and then test make a list of the people tester power users key stakeholders confirm the change freeze this is what they are worried i am saying guys we are clone we are upgrading our system there is no development work for the 5 days for the 3 days now can you imagine the cost or the time or the money client is losing 3 days means 24 hours if i have a 10 developers in my team or let's say in my project 240 hours there is no work client says no come on i cannot i cannot make this possible either reduce the cycle of cloning or upgrades or either skip one upgrade i hope it will go for the same in a in a one year if you want i can still say okay 3 days to change freeze is fine but if if every 6 months you are saying want to put a change freeze sorry i am not agree because you don't know after upgrade how many issues you'll be getting it now rajesh is again worried atul if i don't know then it's a very big risk what to do okay so i'll i'll come to that question so these are the points which you read you will get understand it's a normal a good english then in the step 3 you verify the configuration and schedule the this part so upgrade and cloning is not done by my development team or my deployment team we have to be raise a request on a portal that is called the high h i high portal it is a service now portal and it work only in the official instances you you cannot do use in the pdis and every project every customer who have a service now instance they have a people in their project who know about the high portal and they can go and raise a request there and few things you have to be complete here okay then upgrade the develop first you upgrade the development instance then in the fifth number you upgrade the other non production instance and number 6 you go for the production instance read this document please read this document it is important because we cannot we cannot go a line by line now i am coming to the point which rajesh raised atul if it is too risky then what to do so now service now introduce a concept called the upgrade preview upgrade preview even though they have put upgrade plan as well now upgrade preview what it will do again that take example of the renovation rajesh want to renovate the house when we were kids there was a no concept called the 2d or 3d our parents call the painter he bring that material and paint it but now things has been changed or let's say namrata want to do the renovation and uh, namrata you have a daughter right or son okay anyway and she like that the kid room should be a bright full 
it looked be like a universe kind of a thing. Then Namrata called to the interior designer or the painter. Boss, I want that this room belong to my kid and I want to renovate it. Okay, ma'am, give us the ideas, give us the requirements, and then he will show you everything on the computer with the 3D format. Ma'am, you can do this color, this bed sheets, this beddings, and all the things. This is what the preview you are doing without doing the actual upgrades. So here the service now say if you want to upgrade, you can check the preview. So I am on the Tokyo patch one, and let's say I want to go for the Tokyo patch four and click on the go. What it will do? It will run the upgrade as virtually and tell me that how much time it is going to be take. What are the files or how many files is going to be impact? Now Rajesh is happy. So you can submit this report to the customer. But again, I have experience with the people who also say the things which are available in the upgrade preview. Still, there's a lot of work need to be do at the actual upgrade. It can be possible because it's, it's a virtual. It's not an actual upgrade. So, so you are seeing the 2D or 3D or 3D effect effect on the computer or the laptop. When actually this thing we happen in the room, you may like, you may not like 100%. So it will take some time and it will update us. OK, now let come here. We have to upgrade plan. Upgrade plan means. I don't think they added newly in this part or I don't have any much idea. OK. All apps in development not installed or installed again. I can say that because we don't have the things, the, the upgrade and the cloning are the two things which we cannot do in our instance. So we have to be just go by this. So let, let me come here and show you that how to upgrade it. OK. Now if I come here, one more thing. As you can monitor the cloning, you can monitor the upgrade as well. And I am telling you, it is a very beautiful ex experience, guys. You will see that how my instance is getting upgrade because there's a no upgrade has been scheduled as of now. So I cannot check the actual upgrade is going on. Otherwise, you can see how the actual upgrade is going on. So if I click on the schedule upgrade, it will take me to see it is taking me high instant high portal, which I don't have any access because it's a PDI, so I cannot do anything here. On the high, you have to just raise a request that I want to be upgrade and it is done by service automatically. Okay. These things. Clear up to this point. Any doubt, any question, anyone? Rajesh, Trevor, Namrata, Puja. Anyone? Okay. <clears throat> okay, good. Let's come here. So we are here on the upgrade. You can check the upgrade history as well. That how many times it has been upgraded earlier. See. You can see here. So. I was on Tokyo on 7th of August. This was the time when I upgraded my instance. Three months back. OK, so if you want to see, you can go and check your official instances. Don't put anything there. Don't do any configuration there. But you can 
check easily. Let's see what happened to the print preview. See. Not showing. It's saying you are on the patch one. You want to become on the patch four. OK, that's fine. And. If I come here. This is important. Total 15,261 changes will be done in your instance. It's a predicted one, not actual. Four records will be skip. Means service not skip automatically. I'll, I'll come to that point. Before that, let, let's see this part. What this? Predicted skipped records by priority. When we are doing the update set movement, you remember there is a files which have an error. And what solution we have? Skip or update. Or merge. Here service now say that when I am upgrading your instance, I found that there are few records which are which can be skipped. And these can be categorized in the P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. P1 indicates if I skip P1, maybe or the chances are very strong your core functionality did not work. Understand this is not the work of consultant. This is a work of a developer. P2, it may work for some modules, but for not for the others. P3, very minor impact, very minor impact. P4, you can still ignore p5 very close to zero and very rare application is getting impacted now the point come three days change freeze due to these reasons now rajesh is committed to the customer we will upgrade your system Atul, what happened to these skipped records now? What to do? As per the service now, we need to be worried about P1 and P2 records which are getting skipped. Because we cannot upgrade our instance, so we, we are not able to show, I am not able to show you that part. But at that point of time, developer will check each and every record and compare the files. Maybe there's a let's say there's a task table. In the task table, there's a default business rule. OK. You make a change in that business rule. And now when you're upgrading your system. You get a P1 on that particular. It's, it's not a don't consider this. I'm saying P1 as the instant. No P1 about the records. You got that business rule in the P1 or the priority one skipped records. So now developer has to be review complete code. What has been changes done? That is the reason. Nowadays service now not recommend any customization. Because you think, oh, client need, I'll do it. No, that's does that doesn't it's look good. That doesn't write. No. Because client. Can ask anything. Now if this upgrade fail. Who is responsible? Do you think client will be responsible? No. Rajesh will be responsible because he is leading this upgrade project. So it is it is always recommended. Avoid the customization. 
if you want to make a change in service now return files logics don't make a change directly copy it then rename it to the service now file and then work on it these are the best practices and then if let's say if total 200 files are getting skip out of 200 50 are in the p1 30 in the p2 so 80 files developer need to be check manually and need to be take a corrective action now again same thing painter started the painting in the kids room where rajesh wife is doing the painting the printers also the printer doing the work on the other wall and Rajesh while doing the printing on the other wall. And both on the completing edge now. Who will go out first so that other person can complete the work? This is what the human intervention is required. It cannot be done by machine. It is required the human intervention only complete human intervention. here, yeah. So that the other person can the developer can check. That is the reason that it's a time taking. So once your upgrade has been done, after that, the code which you downloaded, the X, the note code, I'm, I'm putting the wrong word, update set which you exported, you have to be import now. So that you can start working. Right? By a simple, simple let's see here. This is a big wall. OK, now on this big wall. I have a small, small photo frame. OK. Once this wall get painted, I can bring the photo frames again. This is what I'm doing. My latest update set bringing back on the. Latest code. Here, this thing need to be done. So first you upgrade your dev instance and you fix the issues. Then you go for the test instance. You fix the issue and then you go for the production instance and you fix the issue. But now with the experience I'm saying till the time you reach to the production. You get everything sorted out because the issues you already get it in that. Low environment. And that is the reason the cloning has been done. Now, if you did not do the cloning of dev instance with the production instance before the upgrade, then there's a lot of issues will come because of the missing files which are available in production but not in the dev. So now you understand the correlation between upgrade and cloning, that why cloning is required before the upgrade. And it's a, it's a time taking process. And in rest, you can go and check it here very easily. History logs, plan, preview, monitor, all the things you can do it here. Clear everybody. Rajesh, Pooja, Namrata and Trevor. Any doubt, any question? So cloning is important before we plan for upgrade, right? Yes. It is the base step. If you if you see here, doesn't clearly mention in this phase three. Or phase two it is clearly mentioned that you have to be do the things cloning, upgrade, and then testing it stuff for me. The third step C. Cloning is required. Good. Anyone else? Any other question? And I strongly recommend if 
you get a chance to work on the upgrade period, please work. We learn a lot of things from these upgrades. The first benefit is that you, you will the first one who know that what is a new coming in the service now instance. That is important point here. OK, now the last point for this today's class is plugins. Simple and layman are the are the simple words I can say plugins which are going to support my original. Services or the activity. Which I activate as per my need. But. I cannot deactivate once it has been activated. No. It means. I cannot uninstall any plugin. If it is already activated in my instance, either I activated by mistake. Or knowingly it's considered as done and dusted. So before. Because here the work come and it is be required for the for the consultants like us. Customer says Atul, I want this functionality. Rajesh, Rajesh is very much in service now. He starts checking on the service now community and he found there is a plugin need to be installed. Before he take a decision, he will check with the technical team. Guys, is there any alternative to achieve this functionality? Everybody say no, 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 no. We need the plugins. Like I take example, so so in this case we go and activate the plugins in our instance. What I will do, I will show you that how this plugin get activated. And then today I will activate few of the plugins. Like domain separation, customer service management, HRSD, so that in the coming days we can Check that part. So it is it is just small exercise, but I want to be show you. Is anybody know? Like we have a Google store. Google Play Store. We have an Apple Play Store. We have a service now store as well. Where you can request the service now plugins. So total twenty one hundred nineteen. Plugins are available in service now. If you have your own. If you have your own PDI, let me give you a list of plugins you should activate. Maybe someone can take a note. Activate the change model plugin. Activate mass update. Plugin activate. Risk assessment for change plugin. Activate customer service management. Activate agile 2.0 if it is not available out of the box. OK, these are the few which you need to be activate. So what to have to be do? Now one more thing. These plugins are Few of the plugins are subscription based. Means valid for the one year with this much cost. Some are required license as well and some are free. So you can see here how many are free. One, two, three, seven are the plugins which are freely available. So you need to just activate and you can use it. But what are the paid ones? You can see these are the paid ones. If you install. And if you install these in the production instance, you have to pay the license. Either you use or not doesn't matter for service now. Normal simple example. If you have a postpaid connection. And you are getting five or seven benefits 
like you can you can get a subscription for one year for the some OTT platform, international calling free. Either you use or not use, doesn't matter for the company. They will charge it. OK. So here you can find out some product based as a family based as well in which domain you want to go. You want to updates. You can do it. Now let's say if I'm saying. Mass. Update. Now the question comes. Now number is again on the same part. Atul, very good. You're making fool to us from the last 30 days because you have experience, so you can tell anything. You can speak anything. How we will know. You will know only and only with the help of your experience. Do R and D. And only then you will come to know these things. Mass update CI. So like this, I can do it. If I upgrade, it will install two plugins for me. One is the risk assessment. One is the mass update CI. I'm not going to do now, otherwise I cannot do anything else now. Now, question come. Rajesh says, Atul, it, if we do this, not able to do this now, so do it. I, do I need to be doing after the office hours? No. Do one thing. Come here and schedule it. This is the new functionality which has been launched by service approximately in the cubic or after that release. Plugin scheduling. So now I can say I want to activate this plugin. Today is what? 22nd, right? At 8 o'clock. Next. I said yes, please activate it. Now it is not necessary that I have to be logging into my instance. No, it will done automatically and submit it. Done. What other I want? I want the customer service management CSM. Because we need to be do this part as well. So you can see different different plugins are there. Ah, now see this thing. Little interesting. What this? These are the plugins which are available in the service now store. Let me show you. Uh, good. Let me below it. I'll come back there. These are the plugins which are available in the service now store. Why? Because maybe these has been Built by service now or their supporting partners. I'll come to that one. Give me give me a minute here and let me scroll down. See. Now confused. Atul, what plugin you are looking for? I'm looking for a customer service management. A complete one. Chain, chain, zoom, community, customer. So I have to be see. I have to be check actually. That is a that is a problem. CSM, FSM. Because I have experience, so I am able to quickly scroll and I can check it. Ah, here's something customer service. This can be one, but let's see. Do I have any package available? Ah, here. This one I was looking for. It's a complete package. So now if I open it, I'll show you. If I install this plugin, I am getting these many functionality get activated in my this part. So what I'll do, I'll schedule this. And see how smart service now. Let me click on the 8 o'clock. See, it is giving me error. That was 8 o'clock. You already have something to be planned. Best go for the 10 o'clock GMT. Means after four hours from now, I said, OK, no problem. Click next because I'm, I need to be used it tomorrow, not today, right? And I click on the mobile date. Let demo data submit. Work done. Now, what I'm looking for next? I'm looking for something on the ITBM. Or let's say agile. Dot zero. 
Or let's say, do I have Agile already installed? It come out of the box, right? No, I have to be installed Agile. Now, I scroll down and we'll see. I'm looking for this one, Agile development, so that I can show the ETFs. Let's go and install it. See, neither 8, neither 10. It's saying 1 o'clock GMT. And it's not today, it's tomorrow. Because it think that if I install CSM, it takes a lot of time for me. I said, no, 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 no. I want it today only. Let me make a change. 22. So that was 10. I let put 13 here. And click next. See, it's not doing that it is not possible. You are not putting the because service now put the time frames in the background. In this case, I need to be see that what is the best time I can do. Can I do late in the evening? Maybe say 19. Uh, 19, let's see. Yes. Not agree. It will install only tomorrow. In this case, either I can install now or either I have to be waited for the given time. Okay, let me do this thing. Let me put. Okay, go in. You do it tomorrow. Submit. OK, so this is the way that I can make a plugin activation. Only one plugin which is not available here and I have no idea that why. There's a plugin called the domain separation. There's a I, there's a topic called the domain separation. That plugin will be available in this place. This one domain support. So I will activate this. After this class. So tomorrow possibly we're going to be start with the domain separation, but I'm, I'm not activating it now because it's it's too much hectic thing. I'll see what Android is tomorrow and accordingly I will update the plugins. The only thing which is important here. Now let's go here for the. It says ATFs need to be updated. Why I'm putting agile? So these need to be updated. There's a no way that I can click and everything get updated in a one go. No, you have to be updated one by one. You can see the schedule layer. Successful because as of nothing has been done, let me come here again. And full schedule. This is what it's showing. See, CSM is taking a lot of time. Today 10 o'clock, then again, it midnight will again start something will be there. So you can schedule it easily and there's a no downtime during the plugin activation. No. There's a no downtime. OK. The only thing which I was telling you cannot uninstall any plugin. And service now also not recommend that part because that is not easy task. It's a too risky. Not easy. So before you actually activate the plugin, make sure you know that why you need that plugin. What is going to be served with that help of that plugin? And also, if you did not find anything, go to the service now store. This is the place where you will get plugins or the application which has been built by the other companies as well. Want to see? Let me show you here. See. Best practice engine, instance analyzer. 
डिजाइनर हाँ तो ठीक है बट वेर आई कैन सी दैट कंपनी यू कैन सी इट हेज बिन बिल्ड बाय तिहिंद्रा एल एल सी ऑटोमाइज ए एस लेट्स से बिकॉज आई एम अ ट्रेनर सो आई वॉन्ट लुकिंग फॉर ट्रेनिंग एप्लीकेशन लेट्स डू वी हैव एनी एनीबडी बिल्ड एन ट्रेनिंग एप्लीकेशन yes see training and event management if you want to use click it and request for the app you can get the trial as well you can contact to the seller as well that who is selling this particular one so i don't have access to so i cannot i will not logging here but you can see it's built by oblaco support oblaco is some company it says total 61 tables will be come as a custom table because it's 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 these are the kind of custom apps i can say and also if you notice one thing here now certified it is not like that rajesh is working in a company he build application and put in the service now store no before it get publish it will be reviewed by service now in the in the terms of the coding standards in the terms of the quality standards in the terms of the compliance standards only then it publish so it says as of now there is no review it's a paid one it is applicable with the san diego and the rome not sure about it will work for the tokyo or not if you want to see you can click here Hmm. Only Rome on, on this part. So if I am on the Tokyo and I want to be use this, I am not sure. You can contact to sellers. You can plan your demos. That how it has been done, and then you can, if you are happy, you can proceed further. And see, built on now, they they use the service now native things, native apps to build this part. Let's say attendance. facility management something like this you will get it here you want to do c c companies done by fish to nl we will chart as well c ami strategies here if you want to so you can see that who offered by the partners so here you will find only the only application which is built by the service now partners there is a lot of lot of lot of which you want to see you can pick it up here and you can go ahead so these are the few things which service now give to us and say okay you go get the deal download and use it i have no issues clear everyone on this point it is got here everyone clear on this point guys and in doubt any question rajesh puja namrata trevor ola also by uh... Paid one on our uh, PDA instance as well, right? Uh, no, 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 no. You cannot get it on the PDAs because it's required all the custom tables as well. Maybe you have to be to get that plug, get that app. You also activate some plugins which is not available on the PDA. Also, there are the few things which you cannot done on the PDA end to end. That is so that is a drawback. Sorry. Okay. Let's say I want to now explain now do hands on on FSM. Mm -hmm. So that I you are saying I I will not be able to no, no, may no, not be able that, that you can do. The, there is a few one like there is a few modules in the ITBM that is not ITBM now that is called as SPM Strategic Portfolio Management. You cannot activate or download hundred percent in the uh, your PDI. 
like service now launch a concept called the RPA hub in the Tokyo release, which is not available on the PDIs. It is only available on the your official instances only. There are the few few things which is not available that easily on the PDI. So like CSM, FSM, you can download. Tomorrow when, uh, when we see this has been activated, you can see FSM will be also there. Otherwise, if you want, we can put the FSM as well. Field service management. See CSM with FSM here. If you want to install, you can install as well. Total 12. Let's see. No, no, I don't I don't want to do this now. See, it's saying tomorrow four o'clock. I said, OK, do it. No problem for me. This one. So this thing you can do. Few things easily available. Few things is creating a problem like HRSG. I want to be scheduled for the HRSG as well. Case and knowledge management. Let's see if I have anything completely. There's a core core coming. HSG core module is there. SN case, not this one. Even I don't have this any product family as well. Uh, let me put that as well to be plug in to be activated. HRSG dashboard indicators, workday, delivery. Because it's a case and knowledge, but not the hardcore HRSG which I'm looking for. Dot core. RSG. Plugin service now. Let me see what is the plugin name and then I'll put it there. So this thing you will get it from the committee easily. That what I need to be activate or service now docs as well. And then you can easily activate that part. Uh, this one I was looking for human resource scoped core. This is the app name. OK, this is the what one only which you are looking for, right? This one, right? So now what I will do, I'll click and I will activate this. It's a 24th morning. OK, do it. No problem. Let me schedule this. So it will get activated now. So things are there. SPM like ITBM I'm saying. Uh, let's say. Idea. Idea is also one of the concept which we'll see. So I have to see that was the exact name. See Google map as well because we're using this as a our link type. So what you want, you can do it. That's that's fine. Idea manager dashboard. It means there is some addition with the PPM. See here addition with the PPM. Let me put a schedule here. 22nd, May 24th Koga. That's fine for me. Let me schedule this. Like major incident, you can schedule it easily. No problem. Change management. There's a lot of things in the change management as well, which we don't know. So now it's be checking that to activate this plugin. What other plugins I need to be do it? See. It says you want to do this part. I said yes. Do it. Submit. Now it will. Do it for me. So I will find out the list which I need to be activate so that I can. Show you that part. Clear Ajesh, any doubt, any question? Yeah. OK, good. Anyone else, any other question, any doubt, any clarification required?
Okay, good. Then let me stop the recording and we'll take a quick attendance now.